Web3 browsers can allow users to browse the decentralized web more privately and securely, integrate cryptocurrencies, and access dApps. Hey, I'm the Coin Fixer, and welcome to my first video. Before we begin, I must mention that everything I say in this video is not financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. With that being said, in today's video, we will be looking at what a Web3 browser is, how they work, how to use them, and we will also be covering some of the Web3 browsers currently available. And at the end of the video, we will look at the future of Web3 browsers. So stay tuned. Users can engage with decentralized applications created using blockchain technology using Web3 browsers. The next generation internet will be open to anyone and provide benefits thanks to Web3 technologies like distributed ledgers, AI, metaverse, and others. A Web3 browser's key attributes are as follows. An immutable ecosystem where you can have faith that users would download the digital product exactly as its creator intended, increase security and transparency, improve browsing speed, full user secrecy and anonymity, using various blockchains to integrate cryptocurrency wallets, complete control over the content because of decentralization. Additionally, search engines can locate text with micro content automatically marked in Web3, necessitating the conversation of a great deal of macro Web1 content into micro content. The end result may be a more accurate search because tagging can particularly minimize the uncertainty that homonyms and synonyms introduce to the search process. So how does a Web3 browser work? The Web3 internet browsers open up the world of dApps and digital businesses. The Web3 browser gives consumers control over their browsing experience and destroys centralized organizations by utilizing cryptography and public blockchains. On decentralized social media platforms and Web3 browsers, users are also compensated financially for interacting with content or viewing carefully chosen ads. How do Web3 browsers alter the online experience though? Users with Web3 browsers can access all of the software's features. They are essentially decentralized programs that let users keep control of their data and split the profits from it. So is Chrome a Web3 browser? Chrome, just like Firefox and Safari, are Web2 browsers. However, consumers can use a Web3 wallet like MetaMask to access Web3 applications through Web2 browsers. How do you use a Web3 browser? Now that we know how a Web3 browser works, let's go ahead and look at how we can use one. By enabling flexible access to decentralized applications without the aid of other intermediaries and while still retaining full ownership of their assets, the Web3 wallets can integrate into conventional web browsers to provide dApp browser capabilities. Additionally, users don't need to go through any Know Your Customer KYC or anti-money laundering AML processes in order to access the Web3 economy. Additionally, Web3 wallets can be used to effectively store and manage cryptocurrency assets. Contrary to centralized custodial wallets, one may lose money if they misplace their seed phrase. Now we're going to take a look at some of the different Web3 browsers available and see which may suit your needs and requirements. The Oprah Web3 Browser With features like phishing protection and a secure clipboard, a malicious address checker, and a wallet selector, the industry's first multi-wallet management tool, Opera Crypto Browser enables both crypto-curious and blockchain-savvy users to have a seamless private and secure Web3 experience. Ether, ERC20, and ERC721 tokens are supported by the built-in crypto wallet and several blockchains, which include Ethereum Virtual Machine EVM compatible chains, Bitcoin, and Layer 2 solutions. Additionally, Opera has a wide range of partners in the cryptocurrency ecosystem, including Solana and Polygon. To stay connected with their communities at all times, users can easily access WhatsApp, Telegram, Discord, Twitter, and other social apps from the sidebar of the desktop crypto browser. The integrated crypto corner also provides users with access to upcoming airdrops, business news, events calendars, gas prices, educational material, and other resources. The Puma Web3 Browser In January 2019, Canadian-Ukrainian developer Yuri Davitsky launched Puma Browser. 
It offers seamless payments for con content producers, app, and game developers via Coil Content Network and Interledger Protocol, as well as access to Ethereum name service, ENS, and Handshake, HNS, and domains, and interplanetary file system, IPFS. Beaker Browser. The Beaker Browser supports hyperdrives or peer-to-peer -peer website hosting in a private mode. Once the website is created, it can only be accessed by those who have the link to a hyperdrive. The Beaker Browser provides new APIs for building hostless applications while maintaining backward compatibility with the rest of the web. Unlike most browsers, which display the page's source code to website visitors, Beaker presents the entire site structure in a GitHub-like format. The option to host one's own fork of the website is even better. Brave Web3 Browser Brave is open source software that combines free-to-use functionality with privacy-protecting features. With free video calls, fully autonomous search, offline playlists, and even a custom newsfeed, it improves users' browser super apps. Tracker and offensive ads are automatically blocked by Brave on all websites users visit. Additionally, users can view and manage NFT collections with ease thanks to Brave's new non-fungible token gallery feature. Furthermore, watching ads can result in passive income in the form of basic attention tokens that the Brave Web3 browser's integration of IPFS functionality is another noteworthy aspect. This technology enables built-in decentralized file storage and lessens data concentration by dispersing file storage across a global network. Osiris Browser Osiris, the first net-neutral browser, aims to free users from the bias, censorship, and commercialism that has infiltrated the internet. Osiris claims to be a blockchain-based browser that outright stakes that it is self-sustaining without advertising revenue by blocking all ads and trackers by default. Users of Osiris Armor can set privacy preferences and view the number of scripts and ads that have already been blocked. In order to improve the Web3 experience for blockchain users, it also provides a multi-wallet called MetaWallet that embeds a wallet in the browser and supports multiple cryptocurrencies. Okay. So let's talk about the future of Web3 browsers. Due to the absence of money transfers functionality on web platforms for a long time, there is an overabundance of internet advertising and unethical business practices. The semantic web, Web3, offers opportunities for web monetization for developers, gamers, and content producers because it promises to organize the world's information in a way that Google's search engine architecture cannot. Web monetization provides an efficient, free, native, and automatic way to pay creators, support API calls, and finance necessary web infrastructure. Although the most popular Web2 browser is Google Chrome and Web3 wallets can be used to access dApps, blockchain-friendly web browsers give users direct access to their data, money, and assets. As a result, the move to a decentralized web necessitates the development of novel and creative solutions to improve user experience, and Web3 browsers serving as a gateway to dApps are crucial for gaining access to the digital economy. It is clear that Web3 technologies are developing into a significant force in the current Web3 landscape. Despite the fact that there are still many unexplored areas of the semantic web and a lot of research to be done. Furthermore, it is anticipated that Web3 browsers, both current and future, will continue to provide unique services to meet the demands of blockchain users. Well, that's about it for today's video. Let us know in the comments what Web3 browser you're using or if you're planning to switch to any. Personally, I've used Brave for quite a while and I think it's great. If you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it, learned something new, Feel free to drop a like and subscribe to help support the channel and help us grow. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Coin Fixer, signing out.